Hello everyone, so in this lesson we are going to look at how to handle questions where we have forces being applied at an angle. So, if you look at this object over here, you have no idea whether it's going to move to the left or to the right. Because you can't say that 40 is bigger than 5. I mean 40 is bigger than 5, but that 40 is doing that. What you need to do is the following. You need to make a triangle, okay? Now, the direction of motion is along this plane over here. And so you need to work out this force. Now, remember, you just use Sokotoa, sin, cos, and tan. So you already have the 40, which is your hypotenuse. You're looking for the adjacent, and so that's cos. So what we can do is we can say cos 20 is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 40. And so x is equal to 40, cos 20, which is 37.59 newtons. And so now we can comfortably or confidently say that this object is going to go to the right because that 40 newtons, when you break it into its horizontal component, it's 37.59. And so, th so then if we wanted to work out the acceleration of this object, we would use F net equals to MA. But when you'd write this equation, it's either going to be to the right or to the left is positive. So you must tell the teacher what you're choosing as positive. So the easiest one would be to choose the right as positive. And so F net, remember that's like your business profit. So to the right, you've got 37.59. To the left, you've got five. You do not use the 40 because the 40 is some random direction. You only, in a question like this, you only want to work in the horizontal direction. Kevin, what about the vertical direction? Excellent question. Not a lot of people ask me that. I have made this five kilogram object heavy enough so that it won't be able to lift. Let me prove that to you because I see so many teachers getting this wrong in exams where they actually make the object so light that technically the question doesn't work out. But most teachers, they miss that. So if we're to construct our little triangle again, and you'll never have to do this in an exam. Um, I just like to check up on teachers. So if we look at the opposite, and we already have the hypotenuse, well that's sin. So we can say sin 20 is equal to the opposite, which I'll call y, over the hypotenuse, which is 40. And so y is equal to 40 times by the sin of 20. And so that's 13.68 newtons, and that's going up. Okay, so that's 13.68 newtons up. Now we need to look at this object. Well, the mass of this object is five, and so its gravity is five times by 9.8, which is 49 newtons. So the gravity is 49 newtons down. The upwards force is 13.68 newtons. And so that upwards force is not going to be enough to lift the object off the ground. But then Kevin, why is the object not going through the, the floor? because that's 49 and that's 13.68. That's not balanced. Aha, that's where the normal force comes in, guys. So the normal force would be 49 minus 13.68, and that's 35.32 Newtons. And so all the upwards forces, which is your normal force, and the this 40 Newtons in the upwards direction, those two together add up to 49. And so the total upwards forces are balanced by the total downwards forces. And so we don't ever have to worry about the object lifting off the ground like that. We only have to look in the horizontal direction. But Kevin, I thought normal force and gravity was the same. Nope. If you had to go watch that video again, you would see that I said, in this type of question, the normal force is the same as gravity. If you have an object, and I'm getting far ahead of myself, I only wanted to do this in like the next lesson or two. If you have an object where there is a force that is applied at an angle, then your normal force is not the same as the force of gravity. That is very important, but I will explain that in detail in future videos. So I did that just to show you that you don't have to worry about the object lifting off the ground. And just to make sure that you understand this part, so we have a 40 Newton force, and what's more important for us is to break that up into the horizontal and then also into the vertical sometimes. In later videos, you'll see that that also becomes quite important. We never want to use the 40 Newtons because that's, not, that's in some random direction and we want to work in the horizontal and the vertical direction. And so F net is going to be 37.59 minus the 5 Newtons because that's going in that direction and that's going to the right. And that's, going to, and that's your F net. That's equal to M, which is 5, times by A. Now 37.59 minus 5 is 32.59 equals to 5A. And so A is 6.52 meter per second per second. And you must say, I ran out of space there, you must say to the 
right that is very important and so that's it for this video guys whenever you get a force that is at an angle remember it must be broken into its components and you can't just use it as the 40 newtons and I mean think about it like this if you have someone who's exerting a force of 40 newtons to the right that's going to be a lot more powerful than someone who's exerting a force of 40 newtons but they're doing it at an angle of like 30 degrees it's more powerful if you can do it in the direction of motion it becomes a lot weaker when you do it at an angle like that so that's all i'm not going to say anything more thank you for watching